In this Photoshop tutorial, let's focus on the difference between opacity and flow for brushes. Begin with uh, any old uh, file size. I just chose 800 by 800 transparent background. I'm going to click on the brush tool here. You can press the letter B. And right now I see that the opacity and flow are at 100% each. If you hit the drop down box, you can choose any brushes here. I'll just choose the first brush. I can see that this, the hardness is kind of set at soft here. It's, it's not hard, but rather it's soft. And a uh, size of around 100 is OK. So you can double click the brush. Pow, pow. And as expected, as I'm painting, I see the color is blue. So if I click on the little color picker, picker on the left, let me just uh, move this over a bit. There's a little foreground color here. You can click on that. You can see that uh, RGB represents red, green, blue. We have 00, 0, 255. So 255 is the maximum value representing fully blue. And this is the equivalent of saying the, uh, the hexadecimal representation of the colors is 0000FF. Zero, 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 Don't worry about that. But this is really nice because you can highlight it and copy and paste colors exactly. Somehow we have the color blue, and you can see that it's flowing very nicely. If you don't like that soft edge, you can always hit the drop down box and drag up the hardness. So if I choose a hardness of 100%, you can see that it's a lot harder. All right, now let's understand the difference between opacity and flow. Now, I like the idea of setting the flow to a very low number. So if I set it to 10%, for example, you can see it's very, very faint. But however, as I'm holding down the left mouse button, it's getting darker and darker. It's like a spray paint can. This is pretty realistic. So if you like uh, graffiti, you can imagine just uh, spraying and spraying until it gets darker and darker. So because I set a very low flow setting, if I just go over something quickly, it's, it's very light. And as I go uh, for a longer period of time, it gets darker and darker until we get the full blue, true blue color. Now let me press Control A, which selects everything. Press Delete. Delete everything on this layer. Now let me set the flow back up to 100%. And change the opacity down to 50%. See what's happening here. Now I'm going to, this by the way, the, uh, uh, the pressure uh, sensitivity button is off because I'm not using a tablet. If you do have a tablet pen, good for you, but I'm using a trackpad here. So right now we have the opacity set lower and the flow to 100%. What does that mean? So here, as I'm painting, my opacity is 50%. I'm, I'm not letting go of the left mouse button. I'm just holding it down and I'm dragging. So this is not true blue. This here is actually like half blue. It's half see-through because the opacity is, is at. So no matter how long I brush on the same spot, we always get the same 50% see-through blue. Now if I let go of the left mouse button and I draw again, oh, I see that it's getting darker. And then it's getting darker every time I let go. This is interesting. Now this doesn't look too pretty because my brush is so hard. But if I press Control A, Delete, and I change the brush soft again, we can get pretty much the same effect. Let me just hit those uh, square brackets here. Let me just uh, hit the drop down box again. Hit the square brackets to increase the brush size or decrease it. So right now the opacity is at 50%. I will never ever get a darker blue. So I have to let go of the left mouse button and then dra draw it again. And this is, looks pretty good. You, this is good for uh, shadow shading effect. This reminds me of elementary school when I was coloring with crayons. And, but uh, this is even better because it doesn't create any mess. All right, so there you go. I can get the same effect, but whether you're dealing with opacity or with flow, you play with the numbers, and, and either way you can come out the same, with the same outcome. It's just more a matter of your personal preference and your style.